Well, hey everybody, Martika here and welcome to Martika J Makes. So today we are going to be talking about style and patterns, okay? What am I getting at? Well, do you know what your style is? Do you know the types of things that you like to wear? Do you know the types of styles that you are drawn to? This is something that I actually searched out for myself not long ago because I noticed that there was a pattern of things that I like, things that I have in my closet. And I know that I'm the type of person I've always loved like tunic tops and things like that. I've always liked like relaxed fitting uh, pants, you know, with basically a wide leg that I can wear with some sandals or I can wear with some tennis shoes or I can throw on with some pumps if I wanted to. But I have never been like the tight fitting um, type of clothing person really ever, to be honest with you. I have worn them before, of course. But when it comes to things that I look for and things that I shop for, that's usually not it. So I got to doing some research and looking at some of the patterns that I get and I went onto my Pinterest page and I got to looking at one of my boards just trying to see the types of fashions and things that I have been saving and I know that I have always been drawn to boho styles okay or bohemian style clothing and not only that I love the hairstyles I love the uh, home decor you know when it comes to a uh, bohemian style I just love everything about it and I think because with with the home decor you know you can bring like the natural elements in I've always been that way no matter how I decorate I always like to bring like a natural element in well with my clothing I always like more of like a relaxed fit okay and therefore I love the loose tops with the um the earth tone colors and the different prints and just things like that I just absolutely adore the style. So I got to looking through my patterns to see the type of patterns that I might already have to match these styles. And you guys, I'm literally going to have to break this video up into several videos because I was blown away at how many of the patterns uh, of the uh, fashions that I really was drawn to, like on my Pinterest board and the patterns that I actually have to match them and you guys this was so much fun and i encourage you to to do the same if you haven't already because you be surprised what you're always drawn to without even realizing it so we're gonna go ahead and get started because i'm going to show you just a few of what i have chosen to show you today there are many more and i will show them in another video or videos because i don't want to make this video too long so let's go ahead and get started. So the first photo that I um, want to show you guys, and I knew right off the bat what pattern I had, and you guys, you're going to trip off of this. So I saw this photo on Pinterest, and I actually saw it somewhere else too. And I said, I have that pattern. I have a pattern that looks exactly like that. And you guys, I got to dig in, and lo and behold, Simplicity 9148 there you have it. I got it. Okay. <laughs> so you guys, when we're talking about matching uh, patterns uh, to, to the type of styles that you have, you be surprised of how many patterns that you actually have that you can actually sew up without actually having to pack, uh, not pack, but hack the pattern itself. So as you can see, this is pretty much dang near a replica of this photo. So I will definitely be making this uh, really soon because I want to wear this for the uh, spring if it gets warm enough and definitely for the summer. I could picture this with some uh, really cute sandals, even some wedge sandals. Um, I could picture this with some really cute uh, little casual tennis shoes, you guys, and it has pockets. Do you see this? It has pockets. So that is the first one. Now, the next one, I'm going to have a couple to show you because they come a dime a dozen, okay? But I absolutely 
love these uh cardigan type uh coats uh or or what do we we want to call them uh kimonos that's that's what they're called kimonos so you can find these like of course like in the um asian uh you know fashion and things like that but you can also find these in like the bohemian fashion so here is just one photo of a shorter, a short kimono because uh, when they get longer, which I'm going to show you, it uh, more like turns into a duster type. But um, the I have a couple of patterns that I want to show you that you can either just make the patterns right out or you can hack them in some kind of way to look like, make it look like what you want it to look like. So this first one that I want to show you is eight Simplicity 8172. And this one has actually been around for quite a while. It's been made quite often by others. Uh, it is a two-tone kimono. Uh, you can uh, make this longer. You can do it all in the same fabric if you choose to. Uh, but this is a really, really popular one. And uh, it's, it is definitely a style that I know I would wear. I love her. Her whole setup with this with the long necklace with the jeans oh just looks like a nice casual Saturday you know or something that you can really wear to work on a casual day if it is a casual day uh, where you are now the other one that I want to show you for a shorter um, type kimono is a quick sew pattern and I cannot be honest and tell you that they still have the clothing in the quick sew I haven't really been seeing anything but go ahead and check the drawers if you want to um, at Joann's and see if they actually have them because I really don't know. Uh, but this is K4 K4208. So quick so K4208. And these are just a couple of different styles of a kimono. And then you also have a pattern of a cute little tank that you can wear underneath these like they have there. So if you wanted to create, if you had like a uh, a unique color fabric, you know, for your kimono, you want to match up your tank underneath, you can easily do that with this pattern. So that is that one. Now, another one that I saw, I love dusters, the long flowy dusters, you guys. And um, of course, I just went and just grabbed one because there are so many when you're looking up bohemian style. That's really a lot of what you get. So I just grabbed this one, which is Butterick 6802. And it is definitely an easy one that you can hack. You can make those sleeves wider if you want to. The length of it is amazing. You can shorten the length. There are many, many, many duster patterns out there, you guys, for, um, for for really all of the big four you know if you just wanted uh different styles and things like that so definitely have your options here with this one right here so the next one i want to show you is a dress you guys and let me tell you I saw it and I said, I do believe that I probably have almost that exact pattern. And I did. So here's the dress. And this is a McCall 7801. And you guys, there it is. When I looked at this dress, I remembered that one right there. And with that one, it looks like it's a little shorter. So you can easily lengthen it. If you wanted to add some pizzazz to it, you can. If you want to, you know, do a, like a little ruffle effect. Or if you just want to keep it, you know, just a straight effect or whatever. Really, you don't even have to lengthen it. You could do the skirt portion in view D uh, if you want to. Or if you do want it longer, you know, dragging the ground, you can lengthen it if you want to. But pretty much an exact replica of what that photo is now into a couple of skirts here because i do love to wear skirts um in the summertime and the springtime they're really just easy to wear um you don't have to worry about a whole lot uh when you wear them because if you choose the right fabric for these guys they're gonna look dressy by themselves so the first one is this long flowy skirt. You guys, I just love the whole style of this skirt. And uh, I'm definitely going to be making some of these up in a really, really light fabrics, like some batiks. Uh, you can do uh, some linens. You can find linen in patterns, you know, um, but really batiks, great, great fabric for these type of skirts. So 
Uh, 6516. This is a new look pattern. New look 6516. You guys, as you can see, it it's almost an exact replica of it just a little bit different you know in the layers it, it to me it kind of looked like hers might have more layers or it could just be the print itself but you guys i can work this all right i can make this work to look something like that if i choose to but just the overall look of it is what i am going for and i got it right here in this new look 6516 the next one, this is a newer pattern, you guys. Take a look at this skirt. Now, with this one, I will have to do a little bit of uh, adjusting here. And this is for Simplicity 9472. And this is a new one in their early spring collection, you guys. And, of course, I immediately thought of that one right there. Of course, all I would have to do is lengthen this and make that split a little bit higher if I want the exact look that is in the other skirt here. So really easy to adjust. I mean, you guys, minor, minor changes when you're looking at things like this. Now, the last one, you guys, I don't know when I'm going to tackle this, but I love these jeans, okay? Take a look at these. Now, this is not an exact replica. You will definitely have to do some hacking with this one, but it can be done. And this is Simplicity 8655, and it is a Mimi G. And you guys, those wide leg jeans right there. The only thing that I would pretty much have to do, I would have to do my own little cutout and put some lace behind it. You guys, I can lighten up the color of the jeans if I want. Um, I could add some other patterns to the jeans if I want. You you guys you can work this any way you want to but this just gives you an idea of the type of things that you can do to get the style you want in your closet and I'm actually going to be making that top also that is just really a cute top that you can throw on you know like with some jeggings or some wide leg jeans like she has on here and uh, just kind of dress your outfit up you know if you just want to kind of dress it up a little bit more without having to go overboard with it so that's all I'm going to show you because like I said, that's for today because like I said, I have many, many more and I'm going to have to break this thing down. All right. So that it is not super long. So you guys go and search out your style, match them up with some patterns that you have. I am so excited to get to sewing up some of this stuff because I love the style so I want you guys to feel the same way when it uh, when you're doing your shopping for patterns you know there's another sale coming up as a matter of fact starting tomorrow at Joann's uh, on McCall patterns if I'm not mistaken so look that up you guys get to research and get online go to their website get on Pinterest find you some styles and just make a run for it and make it work for you so if you like this video definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a great one you guys. Bye-bye.